Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Indian Minister Scoff's at Obama comment on protecting Muslims. Cattle prices soared in cash-strapped Pakistan ahead of Eid. And Taliban Supreme Leader says Afghan women have comfortable lives now. And now for all the details, India's Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman has responded sharply to former US President Barack Obama's comment about the rights of Indian Muslims. The former president talking to CNN had raised issues of Muslim protection in India and had said there is a strong possibility that India will start pulling apart. Sita Raman said she was shocked that Obama has made such remarks when PM Modi was visiting the United States aiming to deepen relations. Pointing out military actions in Muslim-majority nations during Obama's tenure, she said how will people trust his allegations? Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his state visit had also denied any discrimination against minorities under his government. जो कल मेरे बहुत ही आश्चर्यजनक हुई कि उसी समय जब मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी यूएस में कैंपेन कर रहे हैं उस समय कैंपेन मतलब भारत के विषय में सबके सामने विषय बोल रहे हैं उस समय एक पूर्व राष्ट्रपति यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स का बयान दे रहे हैं भारत के मुस्लिम्स शायद छह देशों के खिलाफ जहां मुस्लिम पॉपुलेशन डोमिनेंट है बॉम्बिंग हुई उन्हीं के कालों में सीरिया से लेकर के यमन के लेकर के सऊदी के लेकर के इराक इराक के लेकर के बॉम्बिंग नहीं हुआ इंडिया डिफेंस मिनिस्टर राजनाथ सिंह ऑन मंडे स्लैम्ड पाकिस्तान कॉलिंग ऑन इस्लामाबाद टू पुट इट्स हाउस इन ऑर्डर फर्स्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ स्पॉन्सरिंग टेरर फ्रॉम इट्स टेरिटरी Addressing a national security conclave, Singh said, while India wants peace on its borders, it will never compromise with the country's sovereignty and if need be, India will and can attack on the other side of the border to counter terrorism. Referring to Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, Singh said the people in the illegally occupied region are facing huge discrimination by Islamabad. He added the region is and will always remain an integral part of India. The defense minister on multiple occasions has hinted at retrieving the territory under Pakistan control. जो जम्मू और कश्मीर का एक बड़ा हिस्सा जिसे कि पाक आकुपाइट कश्मीर के रूप में हम जानते हैं, वहाँ के लोग देख रहे हैं कि इस तरफ लोग अमन और चैन के साथ अपनी जिंदगी बिता रहे हैं, यानी भारत में, और वहाँ जब पाकिस्तान की सरकार को द्वारा जब उन पर जुल्म किया जाता है, नाइ मैं पाक आकुपाइड पाक आकुपाइड कश्मीर के लोगों की बात में कर रहा हूं पीओके पर सिर्फ गैर कानूनी कब्जा कर लेने से पाकिस्तान की कोई लोकस स्टैंडाई नहीं बनती है भारत की संसद में पीओको को लेकर एक सर्वसम्मत प्रस्ताव पारित है कि वह भारत का ही हिस्सा था है और आगे भी हम मानते रहेंगे मूविंग ऑन the soaring prices of sacrificial livestock in Pakistan ahead of Eid al-Adha has taken a toll on customers as they are struggling to get a bargain amid record high inflation and economic downturn. Pakistanis are struggling to buy sacrificial livestock this year ahead of Eid al-Adha given the record high inflation and economic downturn and last year's devastating floods. At a cattle market in Karachi, customers said they were facing prices that were at least double what they were last year. Traders said the prices of fuel, transportation, fodder and market stall rent were all responsible for the hike. The three-day Eid festivities will begin in Pakistan on June 29, with the devout slaughtering cows, goats and camels to commemorate the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice his son on God's command. की कीमत इस वक्त तो ठीक ठाक ऊपर हुई है और जो चांदवर पैसे सीजन में तकरीबन मिल जाता है जो लाख डेढ़ लाख तक का तो वो सवा दो ढाई लाख रुपए मांग रहे हैं और बहुत बेस करो तो दस हजार पंद्रह हजार रुपए कम इतने ज़्यादा कम ही नहीं कर रहे हैं अब रीज़न पूछो तो कहते हैं भाई चीज़ें बहुत महंगी 
इस साल वो भी ज़्यादा है और गाड़ियों का किराया भी ज़्यादा है तो इस चीज़ को मद्देनज़र रखते हुए जानवरों का रेट जो है बहुत ज्यादा हो गया है इन दी लेटेस्ट दी गवर्नमेंट दिस पास्ट वीकेंड अनाउंस इट विल फर्दर रेस पेट्रोलियम लेवी इन लास्ट डिच एफर्ट्स टू सिक्योर आई एम एफ बेल आउट फंड पीपल बिलीव दे प्रॉब्लम विल फर्दर कंपाउंड राधर देन ईजिंग डाउन Meanwhile representatives of local bodies in Pakistan occupied Kashmir held a sit in protest recently to demand funds to carry out their activities they lamented they were elected by the public last year so that they can resolve their problems related to electricity water drainage and roads but they are unable to do so due to no funding by the Pakistan government Locals in POK have long accused they are ruled by stooge authorities who only help Islamabad fill its treasuries through economic depredations but their issues do not matter Jab 27 November ke tanazar mein baldiyati numayandon ko unke ikhtiyarat unke tarqiyati funds unko muntaqil nahi kiye jate tab tak ye nizam namakamal bhi hai aur hum ise kisi taur par mante bhi nahi hain Aainda bhi election honge hum log jo awami numayand hain हम आवाम के पास क्या लेकर जाएंगे आवाम को क्या दे रहे हैं हम स्वाई एस के गालियों के स्वाई एस के मुसीबतों के स्वाई एस के गुरबत के स्वाई एस के आटा महंगा होने के हमारे पास क्या रह गया है और यही हकूमत फिर जाएगी और मैं आज वसूख से कहता हूँ कि अंगर इन्होंने कोई इंतजाम न किए कोई ऐलानात न किए अवामी नुमाइंदों का ख्याल न किया तो आइंदा इनको इन शम आने वाले जो भी Assembly member honge unko hum jute marenge inshallah While women have been virtually erased from public life in Afghanistan Taliban supreme leader Hebatullah Akhundzada said on Sunday that his regime has taken necessary steps for the betterment of Afghan women providing them a comfortable and prosperous life under Islamic law In a message before Eid this week Akhundzada said The status of women as a free and dignified human being has been restored and all institutions have been obliged to help women in securing marriage, inheritance and other rights. But to the contrary, since seizing power in 2021, the Taliban has banned higher education for girls and restricted them from working for age groups. They are also barred from entering into public parks and gyms. Foreign governments have said the path towards formal recognition of Taliban's government will only be possible if it reverses course. Nepal's anti-graft agency CIA on Sunday took out the Jalhari ornament from the Pashupatinath temple for probe after claims were made that around 11 kilograms of gold was missing from it. The ornament was installed at the iconic temple by former Prime Minister KP Sharma Oli's government. According to a report by the Kathmandu Post, around 800 million rupees was spent on purchase of 103 kilograms of gold, 96 kilos of which was used in the base of the ornament. The Auditor General suspecting misappropriation has said in a report that there is no evidence submitted to prove that the remaining gold was used in the ring of the Jalhari as claimed by the Oli government. Farmers in India's Uttar Pradesh state have taken up a unique way of fending off monkeys to protect their sugarcane fields. That is to dress up as a bear as the scarecrows no longer seem to be doing the trick. A local farmer said they had been facing huge losses as monkeys were creating a menace. As a temporary solution they contributed to purchase the costume to protect their sugarcane produce. Monkeys often stray into human settlements in India causing disturbances and sometimes they even attack people. Environmentalists say the destruction of natural habitat is the main reason the animals move into urban areas in search of food. Bandaron se bahut jyada nuksan ho raha hai ganne ki fasal ko jo hai wo nuksan karte hain uska pakad ke phaadte hain aur beech wala kha jate hain nikal ke isiliye isko laaye the dress. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India breaking news and views from India